So, order. Ann Coulter, the intellectual leader of the North American Reform Conservative Republican Movement, has the right to make her views known. In fact, it's important for Canadians to be exposed to her obscene, radical, and intolerant thinking, which underpins the extreme right. Given her views are completely out of step with mainstream Canadian values, will the Prime Minister stand here today and without equivocation publicly denounce her views while explaining to Canadians the link between his party and Ann Coulter? Honourable Parliamentary Secretary for the Prime Minister. Order, order. Mr. Speaker, um, <laughs> apparently the member is obsessed about importing the, the views of uh, an American political commentator. That makes sense given that he imported his leader from the same country. <laughs> 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 he wants to engage in a broader debate about American politics. He has a leader that would be well qualified to do that. Speaking of views that are out of touch with mainstream Canadians, this member authored the Liberal Carbon Tax, which was rejected as a radical job-killing initiative by Canadians. <laughs> Member for Ottawa South. Order. Mr. Speaker, Ezra Levant, who stepped aside for the Prime Minister, ran his last campaign's war room, sponsored her national tour. The University of Ottawa Conservative Club organized Tuesday's speech. A former PMO and current Conservative assistant planned her reception at the Rideau Club. And Rainer Knopf, co author of the Prime Minister's firewall letter and a repeat and generous Conservative donor, is organizing tonight's speech in Calgary. Shame. It's simple. Either the Prime Minister endorses her views or he doesn't. Which is it? Yeah. Order. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Prime Minister. Order. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the member raises a whole group of vitriolic accusations against a government whose fiscal plan Many of his members rose to support just the other day. <laughs> I wonder if he will berate them with the same vitriol uh, as he blames himself for authoring an out-of-touch, radical, job-killing carbon tax which led to his party's humiliating defeat in the last election. <laughs> Member for New Westminster, Coquitlam. Order. 